Hello, my name is Kevin Ashley, and I am a product manager for Spread.js. Today, I'm going to show you how to license both the production and evaluation versions of Spread.js 11 in your application, and then finally end with error messages and how you can fix them. When you purchase a developer license, you will receive one distribution license, which is the key that you will use in script code. As with version 10, the distribution key has to be set in code, so we can do that by setting the license key property before creating a new workbook instance. When you run spread.js locally without a key, you should see a watermark. If you have purchased spread.js and want to get rid of this watermark, then you can add your distribution key to the script code. For this video, I am blurring out my production key. And after refreshing the page, you'll see that the watermark has now disappeared. Now I'll show you some error messages that you might run into and how you can resolve them. Spread.js can be run locally on your computer without showing any errors if you don't provide a license. However, if you deploy Spread.js to a domain without a valid license, then it will display the following error message. To fix this, you just want to make sure you have a valid license set in your code before calling the workbook instance. I've commented this key out for this demonstration, and now I will uncomment it. If we go back to the page, you will now see that the error message has gone away. You might also get an invalid license key error message. To fix this, double check your license key in your code and make sure that it is correct. Here, I've changed one of the characters in the license, so I will now change it back to get rid of that error message. And now, the error message is gone. And that is all there is to licensing with Spread.js version 11. For all of your licensing questions, be sure to email us.sales at grapecity.com.